Today we're going to look at how the sun shines down upon our earth. We're going to close our eyes first and imagine the sun's rays are striking down on us. And I want you to think about how the sun's rays hit the earth. We're going to use this styrofoam ball and pretend that this is our beautiful earth. And we have our sun over here and we're going to use these skewers as the sun's rays. And the first ray that I want to hit the earth is right along the equator. So we're going to have our first ray. And then right along a line of longitude, we're going to place more rays. So this is our equator. The sun's rays strike the earth and because the earth is a sphere, there is only one place that the sun's rays strike the earth at a right angle or a 90 degree angle. The rest of the angles are going to be oblique angles. For this demonstration, we'll need two pieces of black paper, some white colored pencils, and a bright flashlight. I would ask a student to volunteer to hold the flashlight, which will be our sun. For the first one, we're going to talk about when the sun's rays strike the equator at a right angle. And as we're doing this, we can ask the students why it's so important that the rays strike the earth at a right angle. As the light is shining down on the black paper, I could trace the light or I could invite another volunteer to trace the center of the flashlight, how it's shining down on the paper. And then I would ask the students what shape they see. And we have a circle. Now I'm going to take the second sheet of paper and I'm going to hold the flashlight, or my volunteer would hold the flashlight at an angle. And again, I would ask a student, or I could do it myself, to trace the shape of the light. And then ask the students what shape they see there. And they would say an oval or an ellipse. From these pictures, we could have a discussion with the students and explained that the same amount of light was shining down onto the paper for both demonstrations, with the circle and with the ellipse. But within the circle, the same amount of light or radiation is in a smaller space. When we held the flashlight at an angle, we had the same amount of light or sun's radiation shining on the paper, but it was in a larger space. So the circle had a more concentrated amount of radiation than with the ellipse. This picture may help you to understand a little bit more of what happened in our last demonstration. Here at the, pole, the North Pole, the sun's rays are striking the Earth in a larger area. We can see this by the light up here. Here, where we, when we come down to the equator, where the sun's rays are striking the Earth at a right angle, they hit in a smaller area. So we have the same amount of rays coming to the Earth, but when it hits at an oblique angle, it's covering a larger area than when it hits at a right angle, and it covers a smaller area. The students can check if they would like to, to see that the rays are about the same size. To check and see that, again, it is the same amount of rays, of radiation, hitting the Earth, but depending on the angle, the space that it's reaching over is larger or more concentrated.